So, uh, we did plan to fill out this whole building, in case you're wondering. This is, a, this is a huge auditorium, so feel free to come in and be more intimate. Um, we are going to uh, get started with the program now. Um, how many of you voted for Proposition 23? Vote, voted today, or again, how about against Proposition 23? All right, it's more likely. So, 60% of voters decided to reject that proposition and voted in favor of legislation for climate change, support climate change, alternative energies. And that shows that we have a really solid foundation for supporting uh, change. Now, uh, what happens in California usually happens in other states. So, yeah, you're progressive, I'm progressive, I, you know, I recycle, and I voted for Proposition 23, and yeah, I'm a bleeding heart for all things environmental. But you know what? I'm a Neanderthal when it comes to my own home. You know, the other day I was, uh, I was, I was going to have uh, some company over, and I really wanted a nice, you know, pleasant environment, so I wanted a 70 degree temperature. And, uh, but the, the, the weather had cooled down outside, and I kind of also wanted to vent the place. I'm sure many of you had a similar situation, right? Trying to set it just right, there's all these factors. And I couldn't figure it out. I had a thermostat, and it's either on or off, and I can turn it a little bit. It just didn't work for me. That's got to change, right? And that's what the trillion dollar grid industry is, is building out right now, and it's changing. And it's changing things all the way to the edge. Can, can you all hear me, by the way? People in the back too? Great, so you can hear me, cool. Um, and uh, there is no other agenda that I see as important as that, that need to change. Add to that, the agenda of the entrepreneur. I don't think there's any higher calling than the green entrepreneur. You're creating jobs, but you're also, also pushing forward technology, disruptive technology. You're creating opportunities, and you're pushing civilization forward. That's exciting, and I think that's one of the reasons why we're here. It's not the only reason, but it's a big reason why many of the Stanford students are here. That's why we created Green Bean, too, last year. We had Vice President Al Gore come right before the Copenhagen talks, talked about his vision, written a book about the need for a super grid. It's a very niche industry. This is a small crowd. It's an intimate crowd here today. But it's extremely important. Partly because it hasn't been changed yet. There are huge opportunities, indeed, spurred on by the disruptive companies that we have here in Silicon Valley that are borrowing from the legacy of the internet. We are leading the way to change. Now, sure, if you look at some of the companies here, they are building out the wireless networks. So Silver Spring, um, companies like GridNet. These are companies that are, that are building out wireless IP-based infrastructure to build more important uh, applications on top, laying down the, 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 the groundwork to create these uh, sophisticated applications on top that allow things to change on the grid. Electric vehicles is one of them. Meters is another. Integrating renewable energy is another. Uh, pg e one of the most advanced utilities in the world, is, is, is rolling out smart meters faster than just about anyone else. They're right here managing our backyard. E-meter, another company, building software for that. These companies are building out what also was built out over the last 20 years by, say, the PC or the internet. And so, so what we have now is the grid um, operating system being built out. Software is being built out. The hard uh, mainframes, hardware, is, is, is being built. The routers, the switches, all of that is being built out real time. Um, so there is a huge amount of opportunity. Now, yes, yeah, sure, we had a problem with the, the federal legislation. It didn't come through uh, as aggressively as we, we may have wanted. Uh, investments in clean tech, unfortunately, went down over last year. But there's still billion dollar opportunities in this industry. And we're talking about them on our website, VentureMe. Uh, we're talking, we've been talking about them over the last couple of months with stories some of you may have been reading. 
There are billion dollar opportunities uh, with collecting and processing of data, responding to weather change. It creates a more vibrant, it's almost lifelike, responsive grid. So there are billion dollar opportunities. We're going to be talking about those more over the next couple of days. If you talk to uh, some of the people who will be on stage, the experts, uh, and, and here in the midst of you, they will tell you that this is just the beginning. Another thing that I'm excited about is that we are co-hosting this with SSE Labs. You know, SSE Labs is a uh, startup lab for student entrepreneurs and their companies. And uh, we need smart leaders like you, the SEC Labs and Stanford students and faculty, to keep us on the bleeding edge. And what better place is there than here, right in the heart of Silicon Valley to do that? So I would like to call out uh, Dan Ha, who is the Managing Director of SEC Labs, to say a few words about what that program is doing. Dan. Thanks, man. <laughs> for uh, all of the hard work you've, you've put in uh, in collaborating with us to put on this event. Sure. Uh, so a bit of background on SSC Labs. We're part of SSC, which is Stanford Student Enterprises. It's the legal and financial arm of the entire student body on campus. Uh, we aim, as a program, to help the top Stanford entrepreneurs uh, develop their companies by providing them resources like office space, mentorship, a community of like-minded entrepreneurs, and anything else that they might need uh, in order to succeed. One of the reasons why we're really excited to be co-hosting Greenbeat this year is because we're passionate about supporting the ventures um, and uh, student entrepreneurs for the potential opportunities within clean tech. Um, along those lines, we're looking forward to the roundtable discussion tomorrow where we'll be connecting the brightest minds on campus interested in clean tech with leading industry, uh, industry experts. Um, if you guys are interested in learning more about the program, uh, feel free to grab any one of us who has an SSC Labs badge, and we'd love to talk to you. Um, thanks again, Matt. Hey, thanks, Matt, for, for doing this. We'll see more of you guys in the program. Definitely.